Welcome to this Windows channel and <clears throat> this is a quick video. I thought we'd uh, go back and examine the uh, memory or the RAM used in Windows 10 and explain a little more because I'm getting tons of uh, emails of people saying, well, I'm using this much RAM, I'm using this much RAM. Or I, I'm, gonna, I'm using a software that actually uh, makes you know more RAM available and here's the straight dope in Windows 10 of how RAM works and why you should not use a RAM optimizer software at all. So you want to see how much RAM your computer is using at any moment? Right click on the taskbar at the bottom and go into the task manager. If you are in tablet mode, you can of course right click on the start button uh, and go into the task manager also. Um, basically, task manager you go into performance at the top. You might have a different view. Some uh, task managers are actually in fewer details. They look like this. So click more details to view everything. Make sure that you click on performance. And here, performance, you will click on memory. And this is what information this page will give you. So here it says, I'm using 2.5 gigabytes and I have available 5.3 gigabytes. So what does that mean? And a lot of people are scared because they're saying, I got eight gigs of RAM and I'm using six. So um, I'm using an optimizer to remove apps. So, well, if you do that, you're actually slowing down your computer. RAM is meant to be used. You want to use as max, the maximum amount of RAM possible. Why? Because memory, RAM memory, is the fastest thing in your computer. That's why it still exists. You know, if that wouldn't be the case, we'd move on to some kind of, uh, you know, SSD drive that would store everything that you're using uh, in memory. And so RAM is so fast that you want to have the maximum amount used by all of the processes in Windows. So don't check out what you can remove from there. You don't want to do that. When is it time to upgrade your RAM in your computer? If you're getting close to the limit. So you have a visual here of the amount of RAM and you have a visual of how much it is with all the RAM that you got. So here I'm not using a lot. Uh, you can see that I'm using 2.5 gigabytes and available is 5. And you know what? Say I'm uh, loading um, Chrome and uh, Edge and let's uh, start Firefox and different apps and I'm gonna go to the store all of that is now running in my computer let's go back to the task manager and look up and you see in use 3.1 out of uh, 8 gigabytes so I'm using a little more so I'm quite alright and you know what if you're, you, ha you have 8 gigabytes and you're using 6 at some point when you're doing stuff, it's quite all right, and don't try to change that. The only real um, advantage that you can have out of RAM if you're running short, and when I mean running short, if when you actually uh, start your computer and use your favorite programs, the RAM is 80 or 90% used all the time, is upgrade your computer. Add more RAM and that is usually by removing the RAM modules that are in your computer and changing with new RAM modules that have bigger storage. So here in my computer I've got two times four gigabyte RAM modules for a total of eight. In some computers you might have only four. If you see that you're using most of it all the time upgrade to 8. You're using most of the 8 gigabytes, upgrade to 16. But there's one thing that I need to tell you here. Unless you're using more than 80% of your RAM all the time, upgrading from 8 to 16 for most users will not have any effect. The reason in Windows 10 why RAM is used so much is because Windows 10 has a new way of actually taking processes and kind of um, compressing them and putting them in RAM because it's faster to do that. And by using the maximum amount of RAM available for everything you're in Windows, 
it actually increases the speed of Windows 10. And that's why Windows 10 is faster in a lot of the features and a lot of the things that we do than Windows 7, for example, because it has a new way of using and optimizing RAM. That started in Windows 8. Windows 8 was the first operating system to have this new feature. And they even made it better in Windows 10. So the straight dope, unless you're using 90% of your RAM, there's nothing you have to do. Leave it alone. It's It works fine and the RAM used in Windows 10 is used for very specific purpose. Make your computer faster. You have more than 80 or 90%. Say here on 8 gigabytes, I'd always have 7 gigabytes, 7.5 gigabytes used. That would mean not to use a optimizer software that removes stuff from memory because you are actually removing stuff that was there because it makes it faster and you're slowing down your computer and you're not helping at all. These memory optimizer software are completely useless and should not even exist. If you are running close to the limit of your RAM, what you need to do is upgrade the RAM, add more memory to your machine. And you know what? You're going to have lower amount of RAM used and your computer is going to run fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to our channel. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy.